Nolly Home TV. Happy birthday, my princess. Oh my goodness. Iruka, I wasn't expecting this. But thank you anyway. <laughs> You're welcome, my princess. I pray for more glorious years ahead of you. Amen. <laughs> Iruka, I wish you much more than that. Hmm? You know, you are endowed with excellent qualities. And so I wish you success in all your thoughts and endeavors. <laughs> oh, now she's going to turn it on me and make me cry. Cry? Where is the tears? <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'm saying the truth. Okay. <laughs> okay, my princess. Now you have to come with me at once. There seems to be something big waiting for you outside the gate. Really? Wait, is it just me or there is a strong sense of surprise? Mm. If that is what you choose to call it, then it is. All right then. <laughs> oh no. What? You have to close your eyes. Close my eyes? Iruka, if I close my eyes, how am I supposed to make my way out there? You said the surprise is there, remember? That's why I am here to lead you outside. Okay, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfied? Yes. So let me do this. Do um, where, where are you? Let me lead you to your happiness. Okay. Erica, I don't want to fall. You won't? Trust I, me. <laughs> don't do this. Trust me. Erica, I'm not seeing anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Iruka, where is this surprise? Is it Lagos? You may think you've helped matters by leading the way, but seriously, playing blind, even if it's for a few minutes, it's not easy at all. Ah. You may now open your eyes, my oh, princess. Thank God. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness, Iruka. Who is mesmerizing me with this awesome gift? This is my choice car. I oh know. my God. I know. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, I Hello, Mona. Surprise! And happy birthday. I can explain.
My princess, my princess, please say something. Say something, my princess. I didn't know she would do that. I was made to believe the car was a surprise gift to you by the father. How can one know that Cherishi could plan something like that? Can't you see the car was decorated? My princess, I didn't know. Please, how Iruka. could anyone believe that Cherishi can do something like that? Iruka, stop. Please, just get up, okay? I know exactly what happened. And no one is punishing you. No, my princess. See, it will be within your your right if you punish me. I deserve to be punished hundred percent, and I will be restless if you don't punish me, my princess. Please. Did you hear me? I said, get up. Now. I should get up. Mm. How is it that after what happened, you're still acting so calm and composed? Uh, at least yell, scream, slap, slap someone. Slap someone? You? Yes. Oh. No. No one deserves to be slapped. Iruka. Yes, my princess. I said it's enough, okay? It's okay. Shh, stop crying. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mama come back here. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You know, sometimes I wonder if you are actually my blood. What is that supposed to mean? Young lady, when I was your age, no youngster walks into a room where there are elders and walk past without a single word of greeting. People get killed for that. <laughs> Father must greetings always be one-sided. Why does it have to be the responsibility of the young stars to greet the elder? Didn't the elder see me? Ichi, can you imagine the nonsense coming out from the mouth of a princess? Certainly right. I am a princess and I am a lady. Do you not know that when a lady walks into a room, she deserves to be greeted? So not only am I a princess, I'm also a lady. Shut up, young woman. You walked into this room to meet a king seated with an elder in council? Come, were you actually expecting us to greet you? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, um, Your Majesty, please. You need to calm down. Ichi, she has caught in on my nerves. Cherichi, get out! Get out this minute! It may have skipped your memory, but when I walked in, before you rudely interrupted, I was headed somewhere. Excuse me. Zemina. Can you imagine this? It's no guinea. Um, it is well, Your Majesty. It is well. Uh, just sit down, sit down. We know the children of these days. We all know them. That's how all of them behave. This is Badadash. 
I say it's arrant nonsense. You know exactly what I'm saying. Mona Simpson, you see, whatsoever you have just said to me now is cock and bull, and I'm not buying any of that. Daddy, please, take my word for it, okay? Chirichi is just an overdramatic person, and she was just playing a prank on me, of which I understand. And so I want the people around me to understand it too. Really? Yes. Do you understand what she did? Drove to my gate in the morning of your birthday, leered you out, and then she gave you a slap and zooms off. Who does that in the name of drama? Like I said before, Dad. What? Shut up. Don't say anything because you have nothing to say. Just keep it shut. Daddy, with all due respect, Cherichi and I are grown-ups. And so whatever issue we may or may not have between us is... Aha. Uh -huh. So finally you are opening up. There is an issue. Start talking, Mona Shimso. What is the issue? Daddy, please, do not put words in my mouth. Shut up. Don't say anything again. Because now I have come to understand exactly what is going on. Say nothing. Daddy. Shut up. This is not the you I know And secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster and why are you fighting someone Who is never fighting you? You're right. Greetings, Onyeze I, I don't need your greetings, as other way What I need to know is the reason for the insulting, ridiculous and nauseating act your daughter, your princess, came to my palace to put up this morning. Can somebody explain to me what that means? Your Majesty, where is this coming from? You mean my daughter visited your palace this morning? Are you possibly claiming you are not aware of it? Of course. With all due respect, Your Majesty, I will swear on my own offer, even your own, that I do not know what you are talking about. Are you serious? Now you listen, you, you, you need to locate your daughter and ask her to explain why she will come to my gate today of all days, leered my daughter out and gave her a dirty slap as birthday gift. What? Chirichi slapped Munachi? Your Majesty, we are they playing around? I mean, this must be some sort of prank. Uh, uh, do you know what? I, I, I don't have time for this nonsense. But listen to me as other boy. I am giving you just 15 minutes. 15 minutes, nothing more than 15 minutes for you to locate your daughter wherever she is and ask her to bundle herself to this place and begin to explain to me why she will do what she did in a situation where you fail to do that and i'm going to summon her myself and you know what that means when i summon her myself she has to come here and explain why she did what she did 15 minutes is what i've given you and you cannot get anything above that Your Majesty, Onyeze, hello? Cherechi slapped Munachi. That is what Ezenu just said. Dad? Shut up. Uh -uh. And you know Ezenu. He can never say a thing like this if sure. it never happened. Sure. But how would she do that?
Yes, I gave her a dirty slap. And that's because she has earned it. Choosing to do it on her birthday is because she deserved it. Call it a birthday gift. You left this house. My palace. Went all the way to Enuabo, another king's palace. Gave the princess, the head princess at that, a dirty slap on her birthday. And you still have the gut to tell me that she deserves it. Are you mad? Charlie, please. You are beginning to make some noises right now. Do you know? I am talking to you about a very serious offense you committed. And you have the temerity to tell me a kid that I'm making a noise and your useless ear. What is going on here? Was that a slap? Ask your husband, your highness. Your daughter here went to Enuabo and gave Princess Monaji a dirty slap. What? What I want to know right here and now is why? Did you give her a slap? Your husband just gave me a slap. Shouldn't you be more concerned about that? Oh, somebody should tell this young woman to stop talking to me. Else! Else what? Oh, shut up! Mom! Cherichi, I cannot believe it. You disappoint me. I can't believe you can be the stupid. Stupid? Oh, yes! Giving her a slap was a bad move. Very bad move. Hey, 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 one. Somebody should start telling me the real story behind this entire madness. I am going to. Onyeze, you really want to tell me you do not know the real reason behind the rivalry between our daughter and Ezenut? Shut up, woman! Because I do not know entirely what you're talking about. You do not know? As in you do not know? For real? Are you finally going to tell me what the bone behind this ridiculous contention is? Let me make something very clear to you. There will be no birthday celebration for you anywhere if you fail to tell me what the truth is. Daddy, you of all people should know I don't really care about birthday celebrations. It's not really my thing. Monashim, so you are training my patience so much and you know it. All right, Dad. I'll tell you, okay? But first things first, you don't really know? Know what? You mean all this while you haven't had a single word of it on? A single word of what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Iliawele ritual, of course. Iliawele ritual? The Iliawele ritual, daddy. How? You know the ritual wherein the head princess of Abo will stand amongst selected maidens to pray for the peace, progress and prosperity of the men of the Abo dynasty? That's Iliawele festival. Shut up, woman. I am a king of Abo, and I know everything about the Ilawele ritual. What I don't understand is why that would be causing a problem between you and Princess Monachi. Monachi, so you have not told me the reason for the slap. Why did she slap you? Dad. As you know, the Ilia Wille festival is the once in a while ritual. I mean, once in every 20 years to be precise. No princess can perform the ritual twice. I know. And that is because the, no, the princess must be young. Must be a virgin to stand the chance of leading that prayer. I don't understand. Why has that become an issue now? I don't know why this thing is becoming so difficult for you to understand. Your daughter here and Ezeno's daughter are of the same age. And both of them are princesses of a Bo dynasty. Only one gets to lead the prayers. 
What is confusing them? Yes. The one to lead the prayer is the head princess of Abba. Exactly, Daddy. Cherechuku, Mom. You are a princess. That is right. But the princess of Adagbabo. Muna Shimso. Daddy. You are the princess of Enuabo. You're right about that, Dad. So, can you tell me the reason for this strife? Onyeze, listen. I want you to understand this. Digest it. If Princess Mona gets to perform the ritual, our daughter here would have to wait for the next 20 years before she gets the chance to perform the said ritual. <laughs> and we both know that by then she would have been married. Mm. My God! What are you insinuating? I mean, what are both of you insinuating? We all know that the Abbot dynasty is made up of two towns linked to one ancestor. Mm. Good. One is any. And the other, Adabe. <laughs> we know that already is not an issue. So relax. Lola, do you mean to tell me you are not aware that Inuabo is superior to our Adagbabo in the genealogy of our ancestral heritage? Do you? <laughs> now, Mona Chinsu, you need to understand this. Even the king of Adagbabo pays homage to me. For my forefathers and now I are the people, the only people allowed to minister on the central of four of Abo dynasty, which is Dinjikabo. Daddy, the issue here is not the offer, but the exuberance of young people. Listen, Munashim, so you are the princess of Enua Bokenda. I know. Does it mean you do not understand who you represent in the configuration of Abo dynasty? By the method of our ancestors as handed down. The princess of Enuabo remains the head princess of the Abo dynasty. You may be right, but not anymore. <laughs> I I don't think I heard that. Oh yes, you heard me. <laughs> Loud and clear. I'm only apologizing for slapping you. As for my desire to become the head princess, that is my right. And I am going to exercise it. You got that? You will exercise it. Should I understand that to mean that you, the princess of Adababo, has come to the royal family of Enuabo Kingdom to declare war? Oh, oh, oh. Your Majesty, with all due respect, if you are going to sit there and misconstrue my statement as a declaration of war, then so be it. Bring on everything you've got in your armory, and I will match you squarely. Have a good day, royal household of Apple. Daddy, 
Is that a smile on your face? You know, the line between life and death is so tiny, sometimes even invisible, that some people wander from life to death without even knowing it. Which is why I have every right to choose for her. Now, if you will come down and tell me what she did. Okay. All right. Listen to this. Dear Ezadabwe, I was under the impression that your daughter will apologize to mine. Instead, she came here and made a pledge of war against the royal family of Enuabo Kingdom. I am wondering, when did the people of Abo start calling the Ashi out for war? I will wait for your voice note. Did you hear that? Did you? Now, do you still doubt on whose side to stand in this case? Support. Okay, what? What is it? What? What do you want to do? Calm down, everyone. Please, calm down. This is a trying moment for this family. <laughs> Shh, stop. I'm going to solve this problem once and for all. Chirichi. Chirichi, please, you have to come back to my father and apologize. We can come to an agreement between us. <laughs> that will never happen. We grew up together. We were best of friends, sisters. Please, stop this madness. Wow. So now you think I'm mad? I didn't say that, no. I was just trying to make you understand that. You what is police? Enough with the hypocrisy. We both know you're not here to make peace. You are here to secure your throne. You want to be the head princess of Abo Dynasty. Chirichi. This isn't what you and I want. Well, I know what I want, and I get what I want by all means necessary. Girl, please, calm yourself and listen to me. I don't want to listen to you. I do not want to listen to you. And, Monachi, if indeed I'm your sister like you claim, you should step down for me. How about that? <laughs> Believe me, if it was the right thing to do, I'll do that. Mm. But the simple truth is, you can never be the head princess of our board dynasty. It has never been done before, and it can never happen. Says who? You? Listen, girl. This isn't going to end well for you. And if you succeed in dragging me into a fight, it's not going to end well for both of us. And so be it. If I'm not going to be the head princess of Abu Dynasty, nobody will. Have a good day, Princess Mona. Chirichi? Could this be obsession? obsession. Or oh, maybe she have lost it hey. Or maybe this is madness Cause baby girl, you are losing me Normally, this is not the you I know What? I hope you didn't touch her Relax mommy, I didn't hit the bitch hmm? I didn't hit her no. So why was she here? Peace, she said. I don't understand. How do you mean peace? 
the hypocrite says that it's not possible for me to become the head princess and so she came to cajole me into backing down can <laughs> you still see that as peace talk <laughs> mommy i got this i left her disappointed <laughs> oh that's nice i always know that mona is a scheming little old bitch i know that mm -hmm. Well, I won't let her win, and I made that clear. Oh, that's my girl. If there's anyone to perform at the Lewele Festival, that person is going to be me. Exactly. That's it. Mm -hmm. I want you to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. All of them should just sit back and watch me become what I want to become. <laughs> Excuse me, mommy. I got things to do. All right. I'm happy. I know you are. <laughs> oh, you're wondering why I did that? Go back home and ask your princess why. The war has already begun as we speak. He who gathers an ant infested firewood invites lizards to his home. When Cherishi left her kingdom down here to slap you, we saw that as an act of war and we are simply retaliating. My goodness, mm -hmm. you people are insane. How do you do that without the courtesy of seeking my consent? Consent? Oh, <gasps> consent. The fool who slapped you did not seek anyone's consent before she did what she did. Her slap. Oh, that slap triggered a war of slaps. And it will not end until we are satisfied. My Barry, Barry. I know how serious you are about this. Really? Okay? But I still know you are decent enough to listen to the voice of reason. Okay? Please, hear me on this. Oh. I am going to listen to you. My princess. But not until we are done. We are not done yet. When you touch the tail of the tiger, you wanna start to Where have you been? How are you? Ah! What's the meaning of this nonsense? Why did you slap me? Go back to Ada Babo. Visit your classless princess and ask her why she slapped our princess. You will regret this rubbish you just did. Slapping me over something I know nothing about. Hey, Reason, you woke up from your royal bed this morning, went to the land of the same person who slapped you on your birthday. Did you kill her? Because that is the only reason I'll be happy. Did you kill her? No, I didn't. I am not a murderer. I think I will do it myself. Oh, what a great satisfaction I'll get when I finally see her. Enough. I said enough. I will listen to you. Good. But I have made my points. Yes. <sighs> Darling. Everyone must not be mad at the same time. I mean, I cannot decide to go crazy because she went mad. Someone must be cool-headed. And that person had to be the classless Cherishi. Well, I will inform you. 
as the executive head of the Maiden Association of our land that I have declared war on the maidens of their land. Yes. Ebele, I'm not sure I heard that. Do not try to change or, or stop this war because the decision wasn't mine alone. This decision was unanimous. Abele, you need to clarify this issue properly. When you say war, what do you mean? Oh, you are so dumb. Cherechi, I warned you to let go of the desire to become head princess. I specifically told you that you cannot, you cannot rid a princess of her birthright. And I specifically told you that I have the same rights as she does, didn't I? Let me remind you, this same princess, your father pays homage to her father. And I recall telling you that my father is a weakling. <laughs> One that would disrespect himself with pleasure by going to another king. Didn't I? <laughs> Bravo. In a bid to exercise your rights, you have become the most hated person in the whole community. They hate you. They want your head on a platter. They hate me now. <laughs> this girl is dumb. Have you not been listening to anything I said? The maidens of our community hate you. The maidens of Enuabo hate you. The maidens that respect you, that adore you in this community, want your blood. They want your head, Cherechi. <laughs> this girl is dumb. Cherechi, the slap you took to Enuabo has been returned to us a thousand fold. Every maiden of this community is a beneficiary. The maidens of Enuabo hate your gods. The maidens of our community hate your gods. They want your blood and they want your head on a platter. I warned you, Cherechi, I warned you. You're so full of yourself, so arrogant. You only think about yourself. Hey, what of slap in the kingdom? What of slap in the kingdom? Started this madness, hey. and who can stop this madness? No, but do not worry when two elephants fight. Big grass will so Get out. Big grass will so fast. Everyone is suffering the arrogance. I want you to put an end to this madness right now. Put an end to what madness? Onyeze, do not pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. The truth is that I don't care. Actually, I don't care. If you cannot call your daughter to order, then be ready to live in this order. The choice is yours. Why are you such a weakling? Why? What did you just call me? Oh, you heard me! Get out! Excuse me? Ngara Kwesli, do you want me to do what both of us will regret? Get out of my space before I have your head on the screen. Your Majesty! And the situation is no longer in my hand. Wait a minute, Your Majesty. Are you saying that you cannot get her to end this war? Ijeno, my son. 
for that to happen, my daughter, Cherechuku, has to go back to Enuabo and apologize to Princess Monachi. But that she has vehemently refused to do. Princess. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi, I am. You, you know I am a princess and it will be right if you get on your feet and greet me appropriately. My God! Oh, uh, uh, please, uh, uh, please, my son, forgive her. It's all right, Your Majesty. Greetings, Princess. Greetings? Satisfied? N not so much, no. The way it's done, a gentleman takes the lady's hand in a handshake and kisses. My God! And what if I refuse? Would that, would that be a problem? That will make me sad. This is ridiculous! Your Majesty, please. Allow me. Satisfied? Absolutely. The answer is yes. I know why you're here. The answer is yes. Yes. Of course yes. Aren't you here to ask for my hand in marriage? I forgive you though for speaking to my father before me. But nonetheless, the answer is yes. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. That is not the reason I'm here. And even if it were, all I have seen is enough for me to take my leave. Your Majesty, I think I should be on my way now. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, my regards to your father. He would hear. Excuse me, Princess.
see you were asking for a while you know what my answer is no i beg your pardon your majesty you do not know why i'm calling you why no listen as other boy you are calling me because you want me to put a stop to the war of slap that is going on i am not going to do that your majesty have you noticed that not even one of my maidens, I mean maiden from Adababo, has retaliated on any of your maidens since this madness started. They all chose to bear the pain because we are remorseful people. You know what? They can proceed to retaliate if they believe. They can. Let them go ahead. But let me tell you something as Adabo. The people who dipped one of their fingers into the pot of oil has not managed to explain how the oil got to the other fingers. Please, your majesty, this is getting out of hand. If we do not curtail it now, it will turn into something else. Let it turn to whatever you want it to turn into. Why are you calling me and why are you telling me nonsense? Listen, your daughter is the problem here. Stop calling me and spend this energy in telling your daughter to do what she has got to do. My daughter is a devil. Your daughter is a devil. Then I am that monster that is superior to the devil. Don't play into my hands, please. I am a man. And when I am provoked, I go to the extreme. Hey, what up, Hey, hello, come here. What is it? Is there any... <gasps> Go back to your kingdom and tell your princess that you have been slapped. Stupid you thing. Been slapped again whenever you enter this kingdom again. Yes, Fool. again and again. Get out of this place. <laughs> we will deal with them Don't in this mind kingdom. Don't mind them. We'll finish Foolish them. Foolish people. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you walking in food? What happened to your car? Ah, can I be of help? <laughs> Thank you so much. But I'm not a lady in distress. I was just taking a walk. A walk? Mm -hmm. By my calculations, this is a long walk from the palace. But not a long way from home. Because everywhere in Inabo is my home. Which is why I have decided to take matters into my hand today and put an end to all the madness. I'm not following my princess. The princess is taking a walk today to put an end to the slap war by giving any Inuabo maiden caught in the act a slap of her own. Princess, I mean you're walking on foot, no guard in sight. I don't think that's advisable. I mean, for security reasons, I don't think you should be doing this. I said so. Iruka, one more word from you. I'm, I'm sorry, my princess. Ijenu, that is not too extreme. And I don't need my guards. I am tired of the ridiculous war of slaps. I am. In that case, uh, I can drive you while you stop the slap madness. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenu. But seriously, I do not want you to inconvenience yourself on my behalf. Inconvenience myself? Yes. <laughs> That's not true. I'd rather do it for you. <laughs> Come on, let's try. Let's do, let's do this together. Okay. Um, Iruka, you can go back to the palace now. As you can see, I have company. No, I can't, my princess. Iruka! Yes, my princess. Uh, 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 uh. Princess, let me handle this. Can you drive? It is mandatory for any guard or maiden offering direct service to the royal family to know how to drive. Yes, I can drive. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. Here. Yeah. That's my car key. So, um, take the car to the palace. We'll meet you up there. Hmm? I'll take it from here. So, princess. What exactly do you want me to do for you? I'm at your service. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? 
<laughs> when you slap a royalty, you were asking for a while. But the fact that you successfully breezed in out of a community last time does not mean that you can do same today again. You knew about my visit. Oh yes, I did know of your visit. Just that then I was busy with something important to worry about. I come in peace with your princess. As we speak, is she apologizing to our princess? No. Then you did not come in peace. She's no longer one of us. I beg your pardon. Princess Cherichi has been excommunicated by the maidens of our kingdom. Excommunicated? How is that possible? Oh, it's possible. Since she refused to apologize to Princess Muna, we the maidens have decided to wash our hands of everything that concerns her. I am speechless. That is why I'm here today, to ask that you and the maidens should please just let my people be. We are tired. We cannot keep dealing with the consequences of Princess Cherechi's actions. I'm speechless. So you... You will take my word for it? Not exactly. I will put it into consideration. Okay then, that's fine. I think you have overstayed your welcome. <laughs> I did not intend to stay longer. Oh well then, goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know if you will like it, my king, but my mother owns the best restaurant in the entire book kingdom. She's a very nice cook. <laughs> yes, I can attest to that. Uh, Thank you very much. Ah, apart from your being the king of Adabo kingdom, you are also my friend. What are friends for? Mm. Mm. Thank you. Uh, but what bothers me now is the drama going on between you and the Queen. What will people say? Let them say whatever they like. All I know is that I will always stand by the truth. And you will die by that truth. Lolo. You think... You are allowed to have peace in this palace. What? My God! Hell no. How dare you? A child who said his mother will not have peace will end up living a miserable life. Lolo, you are touching the mask. As long as I remain the mother of your child, you will know no peace. Hey! Is this really what we're going through these days? Beautiful daughter of mine. How are you today? Daddy, what are you doing here? Mona Jameson, this is my house. But obviously I can see my daughter is trying to sneak into her own house too. Can somebody explain that to me? Daddy, I... I... Don't lie to me. Because I am not in the mood for games. I was out. Of course. I know. That is very clear to both of us. That you were out. Daddy, I needed to take a walk. Without your maid? Oh no. I had Iruka with me. You had Iruka with you, but along the line, Iruka came back 
to this palace without you. What does that mean? That's because I met a friend who offered to accompany me. Ijenu, I suppose. Iruka told you? I saw him. First, I saw Iruka driving into the palace through the back gate with a strange car. I have just seen Ijenu leaving the palace with that same strange car. And I want to find out from you. Why did you decide in the first place to leave this palace without informing me? And why must you summon the courage to tell your maid you want to leave without her? Why? All right, fine, Daddy. I'll tell you. I needed to do something. I was tired of sitting back here with my arms folded while the maidens of my kingdom make fools of themselves in the name of fighting for me. I needed to perform an act, an act that will make a statement and put an end to this war of slaps. <sighs> and by the act, you mean? Daddy, nothing happened. I ended up doing nothing. Thank your stars that you did not succeed. What? You're asking me what? Are you not aware that the reason the war of slaps succeeded in the first place is because I decided not to stop it? Are you not aware? I am, darling. You are aware, you know. Yes. So if you are aware, why must you want to undermine me publicly by trying to stop it? Daddy, I didn't mean to do that. You shut I... up. Thank your stars you didn't succeed. Let this be the very last time you will ever summon courage to do anything against my instruction. Whatever thing I have set in motion, you must allow it to fly. Don't ever try to stop anything I have started or anything I have sanctioned. Don't try it again. I'm sorry, Daddy. Forgive me. I'm sorry. As for you and E.J. Enu, I will say something about that when the time comes. What a mess this is. This don't look like what I eat. He can't even eat this. I shouldn't have bothered. Cooking is not for me. It's not for me. I wanted to impress him. Hey, baby. Here you are. Hi. What are you doing here? I was making food for you. It didn't turn out so great, but you can we need food. Hey, 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 listen. I don't know what you're thinking, but whatever it is, it won't work. It won't work. Get out of my house. <laughs> really? Yes. Really. Get out. <clears throat> oh, hi, sister in law. Let me say hi. Hey, hey. Don't you dare. What is happening here? I made food, that's what. Uh, listen, princess. I do not want to be forceful on you. Respect yourself. Just get out. Out. <laughs> you know, baby, I know exactly what you want. And I'm gonna give you exactly what you want. Munachi is my friend. Ijen Munachi is my friend. Omelebere Munachi is my love. No, I will not leave you alone. Munachi is my friend and I will not let any man play with her, even if that man is my brother. What exactly is going on here? Did you guys enter into any sort of agreement? What kind of stupid agreement can I possibly have with that witch, Cherechi? I've asked her to leave my house and she's gone. No, she isn't. Excuse me? She's upstairs as we speak. 
What exactly did you say to her? You are playing, you are playing a deadly game. Internal. You are playing a deadly game. Hey, you found me. Can you just come out of my bed? Can you just... Can you just come down from that place, please? <laughs> Make me. Cherich, I am not joking with you. Mm. I am not joking with you. Leave my room. I'm not joking with you either. A woman. In a man's room, on a man's bed. That's no joke either. I think I'm joking with you. Come here. Come. Oh. Wow. Well, well, well. <laughs> I mean, what a sight to behold. Oh. Mm. Princess, <gasps> can you just. Get out of my room, please. Oh, my love. Can you please, please educate your sister on the importance of privacy? Okay. Now, that is it. I actually know how to take care of this <laughs> minor issues. <laughs> What's that? It's something I should have done long time ago. I mean, oh wow, brother, I have waited for all my life for this moment. What? And what? that is for Munachi. <coughs> what is going on here, Prince? Hey, 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 Princess! Uh, get off! Get off! With all due respect. But I... Hey, I understand all that. But do you know that the time for you to start preparing for the Ilawa ritual is now? Why now? Listen, that ritual must be performed by a princess who is not married. As in, who is not married by the real sense of that word. So before you and uh, Ijenu will start anything funny, I want us to get done with the ritual. Then, Daddy, call off the war of slaps and I will perform the ritual. Perform the ritual first and I will call off the war of slap. Dad, I... Hey, 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 don't give me that. Don't say anything. I do not negotiate with terrorists. You should have known the kind of father you have before you started giving me your automatic. That is how it is going to be. You are going to perform the ritual and then we can think of suspending the war of slaves. Daddy. You will leave now. Excuse me. Listen, babe. The entire maidens of Inu and Ada Beabo are totally in support of you. Lead this festival. And you find out that your father might just call off the war. Hmm. What the hell is going on over here? Hi. You again? Yes. It's me again. So this Trump is the reason you refuse to marry me. What? Excuse you. EJ, what in the world is the meaning of this? Madness. That is the meaning of this. Get out of my house, Jibichi. I think I should leave. No, you're going nowhere. You stay right where you are. Damn right you are. No, she's going nowhere. Off you go. 
She is going nowhere. Does anyone to leave this house? That person is you. Get out. Never come back. Why? Because of her? This Trump? What? This garbage standing beside you? No, 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 EJ, I won't stand here and insulted by her. Uh, my love, please, just stay right where you are. You see this woman right here? She is the apple of my eyes. She has the keys to my heart. I love her. I would never marry you even if you're the last woman on earth. Do yourself a favor. Get out of this place before I throw you up myself. I'd have to be dead before you two can be together. But as far as I live, it would never happen. Stupid guts to remove my things and replace with your own, and you completely shut me off. How dare you? Because when you be good, that room ceased to be yours the moment you decided to move my things out of it. When you married me, this house became mine as much as it's yours. Oh, is that what you think? Hello? Greetings. Okay. Mm. I see. No, 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 no. I have no interest whatsoever doing anything concerning that. Oh, of course. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling at least to inform me. Goodbye. I knew who Nango Coco, my lawn on a friend. Put up, Ophelia, Guruanabo, Nuja, Niteni. Your senseless and useless daughter has been detained. What? Apparently, she dared the tail of a tiger and got devoured. I don't get it. That's what you mean. Your useless and senseless daughter had the infantry to return to the palace of Enuabo. And this time around, she threatened the life of Princess Monachi right before her father. And he has decided to keep her where murderers deserve to be. Oh, no. Detention. Sorry, Your Majesty. Please, you can't go in. What do you mean I cannot go in there? Have you gone mad? Please, my queen, if you value our lives, you won't insist on going in. The king will kill us. I don't understand. Have you gone mad? For, forgive us, my queen, but we are under an oath. What oath is that? The king made us take an oath never to allow you to step foot into his bedroom. What? You see, my queen, it isn't our fault in any way. All we know is that as long as we are remaining in this palace, we can never allow you to step foot into the king's bedroom. I beg your pardon. Have you gone crazy? Come on, get out! Move out! Please, my queen. What we, is this? We do not want to humiliate you. Please. Get your hands off me. You know? Stating that if anything happens to the princess, Ijenu, or any member of the royal household, that I'll be held responsible. Really? <laughs> they fucking gave me a restraining order. <gasps> Those bastards. What are we going to do now? <sighs> Nothing. 
Really? We wait. We wait for the perfect timing. Then we strike. If Monachi thinks she can steal all that belongs to me for herself, then she better get ready for what's coming to hit her. You again? How dare you? You again? Now, if you know what is good for you, turn the way you are coming and get out of this palace this minute. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but that is not going to happen. Because this... Ah! This ends now. You... You are pointing a gun at me. Ezenu of Enuaba Kingdom. The Mauna CC of Abbot Dynasty. You are pointing a gun at me. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but all those stupid titles will not save any of you today. <laughs> you get that? You know what? Because of this thing you have done today, I am going to show you that there is something mightier than the gunpowder. Well, listen, weird king. I don't care one bit for your weird powers. I have your entire palace under siege. This mission is so I can live with my man. Have you seen how classless you are? Is something wrong with you, Jiriji? You're pointing a gun at the revered king? What kind of stunts do you think you're pulling? Are you normal? I'm asking you, are you normal? You... You think you can take everything from me? You take my title? And now you try to take my man. I will not let that happen. I'd rather die than let you stupid bitch take my man. You're coming with me, baby. If you don't, I will begin to shoot. One by one. And believe me, the first person that will go down is that stupid bitch behind you. Terry, please. Come on now. Please put the gun down. Please. I'm coming, all right? What? Don't, no, baby, don't, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I'll handle it. Trust me. All right, I'm coming. Put the gun down. Ijenu. <laughs> Dad, don't worry. I got this. Ijenu. I got this. <laughs> Go ahead, take please. me. Say bye bye to him, Mona. I get what I want. Daddy, what just happened? Nothing happened. Could this be obsession? Or maybe for nearly leading our daughter to death? Or for undermining the authority of the king? What? What exactly are you sorry for? For everything. Yes. For everything that I've done, my sweetheart, please. Just that I wanted our daughter to lead the Iliawele ritual. Honestly, I got carried away by my selfish desire and I forgot my role as a good mother. And I forgot you. I forgot how important you are to me. Really? So now you realize how important I am to you? <sighs> 
si ngara kwesi i don't believe that you are speaking from your heart i swear i swear with my life i'm speaking from my heart i'm sorry and i've hurt you badly with my actions my behavior i'm sorry I know my attitude is what brought the separation. Trust me, I'm not liking it anymore. I want you back. I want us back as one family. Please. So after all the terrible and atrocious things you did, you really think that forgiveness is going to come this easy? I'm sorry, please. I'm just human. Please, we all are humans. We are bound to make mistakes, please. And I've done a lot of crazy things. That doesn't mean I've stopped being who I used to be. I'm still that very woman you fell in love with. Please, please forgive me. It's not. Mona, I am alive today because your blood runs through my veins. Literally. The irony is too deep for me. And for that, I remain eternally grateful to you. Well, I, I did what was right at that moment. You always do what is right. That's the, that's the thing. You always do what is right. And that's always made me want to be like you. What? Hmm. I'm just stating the fact. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's the... Uh, as a matter of fact, the entire controversy that has lingered between us hinges on this fact. My mother used her knowledge of it to get me to want what's yours. Hey, you mean your mother was involved? Yes. So me, me, your desire to possess me, is that also your mother's idea? No. What I had for you was a stupid fantasy that has ended. You see, before you showed up in my house, I had dreamt about you. And in my dream, you proposed to me. What? Yes. 
he proposed to me in my dream. And like you know, dreams can only mean two things. Either it's a revelation or it's a manifestation of our subconscious fantasies or hidden desires. In this case, it wasn't a revelation. Um, what exactly do you mean? Before that dream, I, I had desired many things. And I carried them over to the subconscious realm. They began to play out on me. And when I woke from that dream, I read wrongly. I misinterpreted it. Wait, you mean you put up that level of attitude, including bearing a gun to intimidate my own father, the king, because of a mere dream? Please, Ma, please. Bring your voice down. She hasn't come to fight. As you can see, she came to apologize, please. Be calm. Please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Both of you. Having said what I came to say, I... I'll take my leave now. Wait. forgive you. Thank you. And I believe that every one of us deserves a happy ending. Thank you. You see, I've been in contact with the doctor and he promised me you will be fine again. You will work soon. Yes. What? <laughs> and after the date for the ritual is being fixed, I would like to perform it with you. <laughs> It's okay. You're my sister. We practically grew up together. <laughs> uh, everything's supposed to be fine by now. No, Your Majesty. Everything is not fine. Your daughter is married and has since moved on into a happy home. And for me, things are going wrongly. When we made inquiries, we heard that my situation is linked to you. What inquiries? Is that about what is she talking about? What is it? I can vividly recall that you once told me that you left my daughter's keys in an ancient place. And I played with you as the head king of the Abo dynasty. Please, my daughter is equally your daughter. Be gone easy. All we want from you is to pronounce that word of forgiveness. Undo what you've done on my daughter. Undo what you have done and bless her. 
I know that if you do this, all will be well with us. Please, Onyeze. May we rise? You know when we move faster than our she, there is always the tendency that we are going to move into troubled waters. When you blue she was on. Going forward from now, by the dictates of the ancestors of our dynasty, you will no longer know sorrows. He said, He said, Shall be well with you on a camera day. He said, Shall be well with you on a market day. He said, It shall be well with you on a for market day. He said, And it shall be well with you. On a poor market day. He said, You are going to experience the full potentials of your life. He said, Thank you, Your Majesty. We are the legal number one. He said, This is not the you and no and no Secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster and why are you fighting someone who is never fighting you? Your attitude got me asking questions. What happened to you, girl? See the world you started and you have no remorse. Let go your pride and let things flow. Could this be obsession? obsession? Or maybe she have lost it. Lost oh. it. Or could this be my man? Because baby girl, you are losing me. Could this be obsession? Nolly Home TV.